Savior, Jesus Christ, came by virgin birth in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. Without a doubt, we're told about a miracle brand new. Oh, a woman shall compass a man for the first and only time in history. A woman shall compass a man. That's how the sinless Son of God could win the victory. The Lord has created a new thing in the earth. Our sinless Savior, Jesus Christ, came by virgin birth. In Jeremiah 31 and verse 22, yes, it's there. Without a doubt, we're told about a miracle brand new. A woman shall compass a man for the first and only time in history. A woman shall compass a man. That's how the God, the sinless Son of God, the sinless Son of God could win the victory. A woman shall compass a man for the first and only time in history. A woman shall compass a man. That's how the sinless Son of God could win the victory that's how the sinless son of god could win the victory victory amen a brand new song just wrote it it's one of those teaching songs it's a song that young or old can sing and uh, especially good now and all year long because it's a song about the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, and we need to teach it. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar, and this is From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And on today's uh, special edition, we're singing a song that's finding its source in Jeremiah 31, 22. The whole context, you, you find all kinds of clues that this is speaking of the virgin birth, and the liberals try so very, very hard uh, to refute it. In Jeremiah 31 and verse number 22, it says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Speaking of Israel. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass, that means encompass, or surround a man. Now we know that uh, in childbirth, we know the process takes approximately nine months. And during that time uh, of incubation, that the, the uh, unborn baby is inside the mom and she surrounds that baby. But nowhere else do we find a reference to a woman encompassing a man in the sense of surrounding the one who is the Savior of the world. He's been prepared and he's coming. Yes, he's coming as a baby, but he is, he is God the Son. And so here we have the most unusual unusual of verses because it is referring to the virgin birth. Without uh, a father, a biological father, his father was, of course, God the Father. Jesus Christ came into the world. A virgin shall conceive and bear a son. We know the wonderful truth that Jesus came into the world. And so on this occasion, a woman shall compass or encompass a man, surround a man. This is the virgin birth. The virgin birth ensures that there's no sin nature being passed from father to child as in every other case of a human being. Jesus Christ, the only human, completely human, completely God, but also, uh, and yet no sin nature whatsoever. Isn't it wonderful? He could die for our sins. He could take all of our sins and wash them all away. Praise the Lord for that wonderful truth. Father, thank you so much for a miracle uh, birth, the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Lord, that we'll emphasize this, teach it, 
and uh, that we'll never be ashamed of it. And Lord, we pray for all those uh, uh, theologians who are in error on this subject. I pray that you'll bring them around and help them to proclaim the truth that God has prepared this Savior to, to come and take our place. And thank you so much that he has done it now for us. With heads bowed, eyes closed, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you pray right now and ask Jesus in your heart, just pray something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a lost sinner and I need a Savior right now, today. Uh, please forgive me of my, my sins, wash away my sins, and I want Jesus to come into my heart and life and be my personal Savior in Jesus' name. And if you prayed that prayer, let us know. We'd love to help you and be a, a, a part of your Christian growth and progress. And all you soul winners out there, keep winning souls. God bless you. Lord, I pray just now for somebody who's discouraged, somebody who's ready to quit or give up. Help them today to renew their vow, to fight on by your strength and your grace. I pray for those who are hurting and those who are needy right now. Meet that need Heal that hurt. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Won't you sing with me? Here we go. A woman shall compass a man The first and only time in history A woman shall compass a man It's how the sinless Son of God could win the victory that's how the sinless son of God that's how the sinless son of God that's how the sinless son of God could win the victory victory God bless you today You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.